So Alex, uh, second game in a row, your guys' offense has really been clicking. What do you think has been working for you guys? Oh, I think one thing we've, we've really been trying to keep consistent and uh, do more of is getting the ball in the post. Uh, we know uh, we have two selfless uh, big men in Doug and Matt. Uh, really, any time they get it in, they're looking to score first. But obviously, if they're getting doubled or there's not um, a scoring option, they're kicking out for us and uh, leading to more open shots on the perimeter. Has anything changed with David being in the starting lineup the past two games? Uh, no, not really. Uh, obviously, he's a tremendous shooter. We know uh, if he's open, he's got the green light. Uh, we have, a, we all have a lot of confidence in him. Um, so yeah, not really. You came out pretty strong in the second half, and you almost had a double double. You haven't really been scoring much lately, so what do you have to say about this game? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, coaches have been on me to stay more aggressive, look for my shot, uh, kind of like I mentioned earlier. Uh, one thing I kind of like too is after once Brandon, Brandon got hurt, him out, I'll uh, end up putting me at the point guard. So just t even touching the ball every possession, you know, getting guys involved, uh, feeling good, um, really helps me uh, stay aggressive on offense. So they switched to his own defense, you feel, and then it seemed like Matt really started scoring. Then how do you guys feel that you responded and combated there? Yeah, it's good. I think uh, defenses, you know, kind of try to do that to throw some offenses off. But uh, I think actually our zone offense is pretty good. You know, we're not phased by it. Uh, like I said, we got selfless bigs. If there's an option to score, we'll get it to them and they'll score it. Uh, but uh, if that's taken away, they'll find uh, us on the perimeter. So the last non-conference game, uh, how would you assess how you guys have done uh, non-conference play? Uh, I'd say pretty good. Uh, obviously, we got tested by some power fives, um, which is good for us. Because uh, going into conference, we know we're going to get everyone's best shot. Uh, obviously, doing good in the league the past eight years, everyone's going to want to kill us. So uh, I think just playing those teams uh, really helps us out. Um, a lot of new faces, new coach. Uh, uh, I think we, you, saw, you guys saw uh, we took care of the ball, too. I know turnovers went down at the beginning of the season. That was pretty high, and that was something we needed to work on. Uh, and then rebounding, too, making sure we were out-rebounding our opponents. And I think we got better that, uh, better at that as the season went on. What uh, do you think you guys need to work on the most heading into summer league play? Um, I'd say, to be honest, just keep getting paint touches. Uh, we noticed that when we get paint touches and are getting two feet in the paint, and jump stopping, finding guys, uh, our percentage of score goes way up. And so if we just keep doing that, keep sharing the ball, keep making the extra pass, keep finding the open guy, uh, we'll be just fine. All right, first off, I'd like to um, thank Jackrabbit Nation for showing up today. Obviously, a noon game, but uh, they never seem to disappoint. So um, their loyalty to our team and, and all of our teams is pretty special. And I want to wish them all a Merry Christmas and, and safe travels wherever they're going. And uh, we can't wait to get back in, in Frost Arena in front of you guys because it certainly is a special place to play. Um, as far as today's game, certainly really proud of our guys' effort. Um, I thought uh, this can be a very unique game. It can be a very challenging game. Um, a lot of guys' minds may be half at home, um, but to our guys' credit, they, uh, they wanted to finish this off right, and I thought their approach was really fantastic. And, and um, uh, when we have 20 assists, you share the basketball like we did today, and you rebound, uh, out-rebound them by 20. Um, the, the outcome's usually in your favor. So really just proud of our guys' effort and uh, selflessness, and uh, with that, I'll take any questions. Went with David again in the starting lineup today. Was that kind of a strategic move, or why did you do that? Yeah, you know, um, I went with David just because I really liked the start we got off to the other night against Florida Gulf Coast, and it felt good. And, um, and I thought he earned it, you know, with how he played the other day. And uh, so I went with him again, and, and I thought, again, everybody looks at David's shooting ability, and it's certainly special, and it's certainly something that we need um, from him. But, but he's getting better defensively as well. And um, his, the energy and, and the amount of effort that it takes to be successful on that end, he's starting to understand and value. Um, so really proud of, of David's effort. Um, I thought Noah um, has responded very well in both games as well. Um, he didn't sulk, he didn't pout like some, some people can. And um, I thought he's played two really good floor games in the second half the other night against Florida Gulf Coast. He played very, very well. And he made, didn't, maybe didn't score it a, a lot today, but he didn't shoot it a lot. You know, he played very unselfish and just played very hard. And that's something that we value too. So but proud of both guys, to be real honest. So, so go ahead. Sorry. Um, so you just mentioned the, how unselfish your players are tonight. It really showed, or today it really showed because four of your players got in double digits and it, you just could see all the passing and 
good teamwork. Yeah, that, that's, that's something that we pride our team in. We, we really value um, uh, and talk a lot about being happier for your teammate than you are for yourself when you make a play. And, and um, I think when, when, you, when you have 20 assists, when you have four guys in, in double digits, um, that, that kind of is, is statistics that prove that and show that. So, um, yeah, just really proud of our team for, for that and not, not uh, worrying about their, their own numbers but uh, caring about the team and how successful we are. You think uh, it seems like you, your starting five has really been clicking the past two games with David. Uh, what do you think about that? Yeah, you know, it's something that we always evaluate. I'm not saying that's what we're going to go with every single game, um, but I, that's what I felt like gave us the best chance to win um, those nights and, and what we needed to do for the longevity of our team. And um, so that's what we went with. I, I, I agree with you. I thought they really played well together and gelled well together. And, and uh, like I said before, when Noah came in, he did great things as well. So you always have to evaluate where where – it's not about one individual. It's how this team plays its best, and um, that's so. That's what we'll continue to do, and and um, we'll, we'll make decisions based off of that. Uh, Trev and Allen had a really good game for them. Did you guys um, really talk about him a lot before? Because he averaged 17 points a game, but he had 29 tonight. Yeah, we tried to stop him. <laughs> I mean, he's a, he's a good player. Uh, you know, I think he really – the thing that I really like about uh, Trevon is he really has a great uh, change of pace. You know, he, he does a good job coming off of screens, and, and he's very balanced, and he, he can make some tough shots. I didn't really particularly like how we guarded the middle ball screen today with him. I thought he kind of had all he could eat in the first half with that. Um, uh, but we cleaned it up in the second half a little bit, and I thought, you know, I thought Noah did a really good job on him when he was on him. Um, the size helped, I think, a little bit with uh, Nate, uh, Noah's size, and, and kind of made some of those hard, uh, shots a little harder. And um, you know, when you challenge a little bit more, they seem not to go in as much. But very nice player, and he did a good job and made some tough shots as well. Talk about at the beginning of the year how uh, you wanted Brandon to kind of maybe pass the ball more. How do you think he's developed here during this non-conference uh, schedule? Well, I, I, I certainly think uh, Brandon has matured so much in the last couple of years. And um, certainly the last five games, you know, he started off, we were turning that thing over quite a bit, and he was part of it. You know, he was having too many turnovers, and he was just kind of maybe getting comfortable getting back on the floor. Um, but the last five games, his assist to turnover ratio was outstanding and dynamite, and he's averaging over four and a half assists a game. Um, so his selflessness really um, is important to our team's success, and, and uh, his ability to um, um, take his own game—not that not take his own game away, but but uh, to think about others is really really important. And, and he's done a great job of that, and he's really improved his shot and his three-point shooting as well. He goes two for three tonight, and. And, uh, you know, um, he's taken better shots for us than he, than he has in the past, and he needs to continue to do that. So your last non-conference game, how would you assess just the non-conference slate as a whole? Well, like I told our guys in the locker room, I, I, there, there was a lot of unknowns going into this year. And, and, um, but, there wasn't, but that doesn't mean there's not any expectations. Um, there's a lot of pride in this program, and uh, we've had a lot of success for a long time. And um, it's important that we play the right way. And we, we play unselfishly, and we play with a great amount of energy. And um, so when I evaluate this team, that's what I look at. And I'm so proud of them for playing selfless and, for the most part, extremely competitive. Um, there's been a few stretches. We need to get more consistent. We're making a ton of mistakes still. Um, but we are getting better. And um, that's what I really am proud of this team about. So what do you think is the biggest thing you guys need to work on heading into summer league play? I think it, it it just needs to continue to it, it deep, we're going to be we're going to be successful if we if we defend at a very high level and rebound at a high level. So to continue to value that, to understand the importance of that, and then once we do that, we're able to play with great pace and our offense can seem to be clicking. Um, we need to continue to take better shots because you see our percentages shooting the basketball from behind the arc. That's not very good. And um, but how can you get better at that? Well, share the basketball like we did tonight. You take better shots like you did tonight, and then you can go 11 for 23. And uh, so, so that's how you got it. That's how we need to continue to get better. Be more stubborn. 
make less mental mistakes. And uh, every team in college basketball makes mistakes. It's just some make more than others. And, and earlier in the year, we were making 25 to 30 mistakes a, a game mentally. And, and if we can continue to shrink that number, we can, we can have a lot of success. Obviously, the non-conference can be a bit of a grind. Yeah. How important do you think this little break you guys have over the holiday is? Well, I, I think it's important because um, we spend a lot of time together. And we all love each other. But a little bit of break is OK. And uh, I'm sure they, they're ready to get away from Coach Hendo and, and the rest of the coaches for a little while as well. Um, but just to get a breath of fresh air, to, to take a, take, just step back and take a look at things and, and, and look at our team. To me, it's a great time to evaluate our team. And, and not that we're not always doing that, but when you can step away from, from everything and, and uh, really just focus on what are just one or two things that we can control the next two months where we can get better. And um, so I think that's what makes it valuable. And um, they're going to come back refreshed. And um, it's going to be a fun, a fun conference season. It's, 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 it always is. You guys uh, played a lot of tough road games in the non-conference. How do you think that that uh, will prepare you for the road games in the summer league? Well, I think it, it was important that we did that. And, and, and you guys know our schedule. We've, we've scheduled challenging games year after year after year. That's nothing new. And, and we're going to continue to do that because it, uh, we're, it's, it's important that we continue to get better. And, and um, we learned some valuable lessons on the road. We, 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 we lost a few close games. And um, if we want to reach our goals, we're going to have to find ourselves on the other side of the outcome. So we need to look at how those games ended, how, how, why the outcome was what it was, and uh, work on those things so that we can change that outcome.